with Aldi books. <sighs> yeah, this is my last TBR of 2018. This is the TBR that will be going to Florida with us for Christmas vacation. Yes, I'm on vacation. I don't have to work for the next nine days. Today is December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve. So I have nine days to read 13 books. What? Yes. <laughs> Did you watch my video that I posted yesterday? I I have this goal, maybe you wanna watch that video, but in brief, I have this goal to end my physical TBR at the same number that I began it with in Jan on January 1st of 2018. That magic number is 232 books. And I was six books away from accomplishing that goal, and then I bought seven more books. <laughs> so now we're at 13, I have to read 13 books in the next nine days. So let's see which books I think that I can tackle in nine days. So, jumping right in. Uh, let's, let's, let's put them up here, shall we? Let's put our, our 13 TBR books up here. So, um, these are the ones that I had originally picked out that I might wanna read in December. These are the Cloak and Daggers, and these are just some others. So, definitely we'll be keeping Wondersmith because this is a middle grade. I can read it fast. Not sure about these two. This is a definite no. Um, this one is a possibility, though. Let's see. And then with the Cloak and Daggers, these two are definite because I have them on audio. And I'm going to be driving to Florida, so at least one day out of this month, I will be in the car for, you know, close to eight hours, so I could get one of those done in that time, and probably, you know, another one mostly done commuting. Not sure about these. This one's a definite no, but these are possibilities. So... Um, then, these are the ones that are currently in progress. So, this monster, I actually do want to finish and, you know, it's a possibility. This little tiny one, I definitely will be able to tackle. Um, this one I do want to finish as well. It's kind of chunky. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm going to need to pick some alternates <laughs> just in case. This one I, I think I have just like 50 or 60 pages left. So this one's going to be done today. I guess we were putting the in progress over here. This one, bless. This one is going to be saved. For 2019, I know another year. Ah, but Joe um, has said I can join the buddy raid with her and tired mama and Silji, I think. Yeah. So it's gonna get done in 2019. I promise. <laughs> oh, and then from the stack that got me in trouble in the first place. This is my used book haul that I posted yesterday. I think I'm gonna take these first two because they're both right around the 150 page mark. This one's only like 130 something. So these two little guys, that's like one real full length book to me. So that's a twofer right there. So definitely gonna keep those in the mix. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine so far. And now we gotta think about this. There is one I need to find that my sister got me last year for Christmas. 
and I haven't read it yet. And you know she's going to be asking about it because that's what sisters do. <laughs> uh, so before we were yours by Lisa Wingate, my sister got me this for Christmas last year. And yeah, so I need to read that one. Take it down. That's 10. 10, 10, 10. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's one. Oh, here, maybe these two. This one is, I don't know if it's, I guess it's this young, young adult or maybe even middle grades, but it's short. This one's right at 200 with um, YA margin, so I'm gonna do that one. This is a possibility, Three Dark Crowns. And this is a YA fantasy, so that'll be really pacey, you know? It's kinda long, 386 pages-ish. 390, I don't know, but Maybe. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12. What else, people? Huh. Oh. I could read the Virginia Wolf, finally. I mean... I don't know. This one's got tiny. Um, it's right around 150 pages, but it's dense and literary. So I'll put it up here for possibility. And this one was on the Reading Women Challenge list. Not this one, but a Virginia Wolf in general. So I think that's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, yeah, 13. I want a couple of alternates. I think I need, oh, there was a Florida book I wanted to read. Where is that crazy book? It's one of those crazy books that I bought. When I was buying crazy books that first year on book two. Yeah, this one's set in Florida. Nuclear jellyfish. It's right around 300 pages. It's it's I think a detective story. We'll see. My goodness, I can't remember anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, one more. One more alternate. What should it be? What should it be? Do I have any more short books down here? I don't think so. How about another exciting book? How, much, how long is this one? This one's 300. That, that looks like a Florida book. Oh, I could read this one though. The Life and Death of Sophie Stark. That's under 300. What do you think? Hmm. Or this one looks kind of small. I wonder if this is short. Our interpreter of maladies is short. Let's let's check out these two. Let's see. This is two hundred and something short. Ooh, this is under two hundred. I think this is a short story collection. Pulitzer Prize winner. Is this a short story collection? Huh. Yeah? Let's put that one up there. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17. 17. 17 is a good number. Let's stop there.
So I need to finish 13 of these 17. Shall we zoom in? Ooh, ooh. This is, oh, there we go. <laughs> what do you think? Can I do it? Uh, I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.